Welcome back, everybody, to 7 Days to Die in Alpha 20. I'm an old guy coughing and sneezing and nose running, and, oh, man, I'm just freaking miserable right now, you guys. Uh, anyway, okay, so, yeah, uh, we're going to do House Flipper today. Looking forward to it. Uh, so we're going to work on the house. Um, we've got some paint made up, so what did I do with that? I put the paint in here. Uh, so let's grab a stack of that. I need to make a paintbrush, too. Well, actually, do I have a paintbrush? If I do, it would be in here. I don't see a paintbrush in there. Okay. Um, so let's do a paintbrush. I uh, just need one wood and some leather. All right, so we got that done. And um, see, I've got, uh, yeah, we got a pretty decent amount of wood, too. Okay, so before we start painting... Uh, excuse me, the first thing we want to do is let's go upstairs and get the rest of our, um, our upstairs area repaired. Because I haven't even, really haven't even been up here almost, you know, maybe once or twice since we moved in here. So let's um, get all this crap out of here first. I'm not really planning on changing the design of, of the house. Uh, I think we're going to keep it the way it is. Uh, we're just going to fix it. Okay, so let's get all of these broken blocks out and um was this supposed to be i i think these will turn back into roof blocks if we repair them i don't know about that one here let's grab our hammer we've never come across the nail gun schematic have we nail gun nope i don't remember seeing that in any of the traders either Okay, so this should repair correctly. What about this one? Nope, that doesn't let me repair it at all. So we're going to take that all the way out. And then we're going to grab our blocks here. Let's change these to solid blocks. And then we're going to hold down R and copy shape. I really, really love that feature um, that they put in the vanilla game. Uh, so, yeah, that's good stuff. Okay, so these blocks aren't going to repair. What, are, what is this going to repair to? Oh, exactly what we need it to. Okay, perfect. This one probably too, right? Yep. Good, good, good. And this one probably too. Uh-huh. All right. Let's get rid of these guys. And then uh, it looks like there's... Oh, wow. That's cool. I never even noticed that, but I've always wanted them to... To give us like you know eve types of blocks in this game and now we do because they're just like the half blocks oh that's wonderful didn't even realize that until just now uh what's going on down here this is weird okay um all of this should just repair up all right let's um do that for there in yeah, that's all we got to do. Okay, cool. And then we're missing a block here. So this is going to be the corner block rather than trying to hunt through that in a menu. Let's just do copy shape. That is, makes things so much easier. I love it. And then we'll just rotate it until it's going the right direction. And we'll upgrade that. We're not really, I'm not really c concerned about this house taking damage because our fence is... You know, protecting us from outside threats, and it has done a fantastic job of doing that too uh, so far. Um, okay, so copy shape, and then fix those. I'm standing a little too close to it there. Okay, cool. Now let's take this out. And again, just do a copy shape here and a copy shape here. Uh, oh, okay. I think what we have to do for this then is go up a block, maybe copy shape. Yeah. Okay. Okay, so I think that repairs everything on this side. So let's go back up here now. And was there a window? Uh, no, there wouldn't have been a window there. Okay. All right, very good. 
So um, this one's going to have to... Um, can we get this one to go out here? Just trying to get it to attach right there. Like that. Perfect. Okay. And then we're going to have to do the other block thing thing to get the rest of those to work right. Okay. So copy block. Put that there. Put that one in there. Um, here, let's get these these ones down here finished first. It's just, I, I, I know I keep repeating myself, but this saves so much time. And I, I don't know, it it's making building a lot more fun. I just love it. Okay, so these are just going to be solid blocks here, I believe. Um, so let's put those in now. All of these will be. Um, okay. So we still need to get out. So let's keep that one. We'll keep this slot open here until we're completely uh, finished out here. Okay, so that's going to be there. That's going to go there. And then those are going to be angled blocks. Uh, all of these are going to be angled blocks here. I think. Yeah, I think that's all for the for just the normal square blocks. Okay, so let's um upgrade these. Perfect. Okay, now what we need to do is let's get the, a couple more of these 45 jobs in. So put that there, that there, that there, um, and that one there. These are the two. Uh, this little opening is what we're going to leave until the very end. So Oh, yeah, right. Okay. That's good. Now we have to figure out what these blocks are and I think it's going to take two of them so let's split our stack up here and the top one is going to be whoops that block oh yeah hmm so what was what was going on last time or what did I not look at it right. Oh shoot, it's not going to let us do anything because um, we're in the way. Okay. I'm just making a short thing that we can walk out on here. Just so we can get this one in place. There we go. Beautiful. Okay, so that's done. And that fixes everything over here except for just what we need to patch in here. I guess we need to do that as well. That just goes up like so. All right, so now we just need to turn these the other direction. Um, huh. Okay. I don't, th what happens if we do a copy rotation here? Oh yeah, that's what we need. Just like that. Okay. Cool. Okay, let's go back up on the roof and... Just fix anything else that we have to do on the roof first. Okay, let's do copy rotation. Put that one in. That all looks okay. Yeah, we're going to have some work to do over here. Now, this business... Um, okay, we're going to need cobblestone to fix this, and then I guess we'll have to paint it to look like brick. We've already checked everything over here, right? Yeah. Okay, so let's get this last corner taken care of here. Those should all just upgrade correctly. This one we're going to have to replace. And we'll 
we'll put that right there. Good. Okay, so that takes care of that. And let's come down here now. All of these blocks here have to come out. Because they won't upgrade correctly. Um, does that stay that way? I don't think it does. Pretty sure it doesn't. Okay, yeah. Well, even if it does, let's just take them out and put the ones that we know goes in there. Rather than trying to figure that out. Let's not work any harder than we have to, you know what I mean? Okay, so what we're going to do is let's split this stack up uh, again. And I'm going to make these just normal... Uh, the normal blocks here. Wait, is there supposed to be a window there? No, because this is the same kind of scenario that we had on the other side. Okay, upgrade these. There we go. And then uh, what I'm going to do now is... Yeah, that's not going to work there. So if we can... Put those in. Can I... Yeah, now we're going to have to put that in there. Like so. Okay, I might be able to get this one in here. Yeah, see the problem is I'm in the way, but if we do it this way... There we go. Okay, that works. That works. And now what we're going to do is copy that shape and put it right in there. Good. Something just occurred to me, though. Um, here, we need to go. I want to go down for a second and look at something. Oh. Oh, that, okay, that would explain, I think, that little wedge, that little wedge block that we saw last time. Um, what's it look like over here? Probably the same problem. Yeah. Okay. But, if we... Um... All right, so if we took this, here, let's nerd pull up here for a second. Make ourselves a little bit of a scaffolding anyways. So I think the piece we're looking at is gonna be like one of those corner pieces. And one way we might be able to temporarily determine that is if we were to... Yeah, there we go. That's the one we want. All right, now, so let's take this and copy it. And then put it in like that. Very cool. Okay. I like it. I like it. All right. Now we just have to go do the same thing on this side. This is my first real... Uh, chance, uh, or not chance, but the first time, I should say, that I've actually worked significant, you know, significantly, significant, good golly mouth, work, significantly, I still didn't say it right, okay, you guys know what I'm saying, right, <laughs> that I've worked with these blocks, oh man, that was, I made that way harder than it needed to be, um, yeah, I think that's gonna have to go there too, because we're gonna have to hang that down one more, Might as well upgrade these while we're here. Okay. I think everything else looks okay. Significantly. Significantly. I don't usually have troubles saying that, but for some reason today I do. 
Okay, so let's go back in here now and um, uh, let's finish the ceiling. Looks like we might have a little bit of trim work uh, to do down in there too, which we can. Excellent. Okay, so that's finished. And then, yeah, we just fill this in with these guys here. And then these guys can go here. And that one's just going to have to be another one of those. Just like that. Did we have to put a corner piece on that? Um, is that how they all look? Oh yeah, it uh, it is. Okay. Just making sure. Just making sure, man. Oh, let's pause here and grab our two tasty crucibles. I don't know, are crucibles tasty? These ones are. And I got quite a bit of iron in here already, so we're going to just start cooking up forged steel in this guy. And we have um, forged products. I have a f over a full stack of iron already in there anyway. So, um, oh, I guess you don't have any steel in you. That's fine. Um, let's, in fact, you don't have anything in you. So what we're going to do is uh, let's take about two-thirds or three-quarters, I guess, of this and start smelting uh, some more iron into there. Do I have any more wood in here? I don't. We're kind of low on wood. Well, if we run out, we'll grab the chainsaw and go get some more. Are you doing anything? You just finished making fuel. Okay. So we'll keep that up in there for now. All right, let's get back to this. Um, so we're going to do the same thing here. We're going to basically just... Uh, we'll patch this one all the way in because of the fact that we have the way to get out on the other side. So yeah, let's just finish this out here. That patched in. And it looks like that's just a straight down block there. Okay, and then make sure that's going the right way. Okay, and then for the rest of these, we just need, uh, we're going to need two of these guys. And then just two of these guys, I think. Oh, wait a minute. No, just one of those. And then whatever this block here is goes in there. Oh, man, that is just fan freaking tastic. Makes building so much nicer. I know, I'm a freaking broken record, but I'm just stoked about it, man. All right, we're going to replace... We're going to put nice windows in here. Um... Well, let's just leave that the way it is for now, I guess. Do we have the option of painting windows? Uh, what's this? Paint all sides, paint surface. Okay. Do we have anything new, or is this all the same stuff as it was before? I think it's all the same stuff. I think we have additional options in creative mode, which for this particular... Yeah, and for this particular thing, I, w I wouldn't mind quote-unquote cheating and going into creative mode because it's all just decoration stuff. It's not like it's going to change uh, our gameplay or, you know, give us some kind of advantage or anything like that. It's just for looksies. Here, let's go run over here and double-check and make sure everything looks correct out here. Yeah, it looks like it is. Okay, good. So the only other structural thing we have to fix now is just the chimney, and I guess we needed some cobble for that. So let's go run and get the cobble, and then we'll paint the uh, whoop, 
Uh, then we'll paint the roof and then we'll be done with the roof. Okay, so we should have cobblestone in here. Yes, we do. I'm assuming we have the option to to do a brick paint. Um, what does it take to make brick in case we don't? Oh. Um, how would we come across brick? Is that something? Well, here, before, let's just look in here. Brick. Oh yeah, we we do. We have we can paint. Okay, so that's all we needed to know. So let's fix this up. Oh shit, it's not gonna change the block, is it? Damn it, Jim. Um okay, so we have one, two, three, four. So I guess we'll just break this out here. Oh, that didn't take much, did it? Okay. And I'm gonna make here, we'll just use wood. Well, you know, we're super low on wood. Why don't we just do this? Let's make four cobblestone shapes. And we'll put those down here. There we go. And then... Uh, okay, so what we want to do here is paint all sides. Perfect. Okay. The chimney is repaired. Awesome. Awesome sauce. Okay. Now let's get the, the roof uh, painted. So if we use the eyedropper thing here, um, then that allows us to just pick the texture. But uh, we want to do a wider area. So paint surface, paint roller, paint brush. Uh... I think this is the opposite of this, I think. Because if we choose that... Oh my god! Wait, what? <gasps> oh, that's so awesome! That, like, this is a, a, a huge area. <coughs> and it looks like maybe it's only painting the, you know, the the surface of the block that we're on. Uh, let's test this theory. If I paint close to here, yeah. See, it didn't, it didn't touch that at all. All right. What if we go down here? Oh, I see what's going on. Okay, so it's only painting this like this gray. Oh yeah, the gray surface, and this is a different painted surface, so it's not painting that. That is super useful. Oh man, what a bunch of time saver, time saving stuff this is. I love it. That's kind of like an iron surface, which is a little odd, but that's okay. All right. So I think, okay, why isn't it painting the, oh, now it is. Okay. We just need that one to be done. These are some really nice uh, improvements that they've made in the game. I think, if I remember right, in previous alphas, you had the paint roller and you had the paint brush. Uh, so this was one block. This was like, I don't know, nine blocks or something like that. I don't remember this in there, but maybe it was and I missed it. I don't know. It's been, been a little while since I've done any actual major building in this game. Okay, cool. That's... Okay, so now what we want to do here is... Texture pick that. Um, is that going to screw something up? No, it just did the whole block. Okay, so texture pick that and do just paint brush. Uh, wait a minute. Okay. We don't want to paint all sides. Oh, oh. Oh, I had to turn that off. I got you. Okay. I see what's going on here. Okay. So now texture pick this and there we go. Okay. Perfect. Love it. Okay. So we'll fix these, these parts here too. And what is this supposed to be again? 
It's supposed to be that business there. Okay, so let's grab that and fix that. Oh, I guess that's all we needed to fix is just that one, that one spot there. Um, that's a little... Yeah, there we go. Okay. So it's kind of got that shake look. You know, one thing I wish that we did have, though, in this game was nice paint. Everything still looks all run down. But I don't know that we have an, that option. I've used the black TV screen before just to get a solid black that didn't look like shit. Um, but I think... Yeah, I don't think we have a whole lot of options still, unfortunately. So it is the way it is. It's the apocalypse, I guess. So, okay. So I think everything's looking pretty good over here. Uh, we need to fix this. So let's do a texture picker and uh, just hit that surface. Let's take one more peek over here before we seal up the roof. I think everything's okay. Um, we might need to... Yeah, we're going to have to do some work on these eaves, but that's probably going to be easier for me to do down below and just nerd pulling up. Okay, I think we're good out here. So let's hop back down into here. And we want to grab that one and that one. And then... Um, I think just to make this easy, easy peasy, we want that texture picker and we want to paint all sides. Uh, cause those are going to be covered up. We're not going to see those on the inside anyway. All right. Now, oh, did I upgrade those? I don't think I did. Not that it really matters, but we'll do it anyway. Okay, now let's copy that block. Oh, no, not the block, the rotation. Copy the rotation. Okay. Put those guys in. And then uh, for the moment, we'll just keep that texture. But we're probably going to change some of that anyway. All right, very good. I think we've fixed all this, at least the exterior structural stuff that needed to be fixed. Um... So that's done. We got, you know, we have to do a bunch of painting. Now, what are my options for windows? Um, let's take a look. So we have this wood window, and that requires a glass block and some wood. If I remember, I don't think those look very good, but let's just see. Because like I said, if I have to pop into the creative menu to get a few things to make it look good, I'm going to do that because... Again, I'm just not worried about it since it's just decoration stuff. Okay, so a glass block. Is that something I think we have to make that in here, right? Yeah, glass block. Uh, so what are we missing? Uh, sand. Okay, yeah, let's put some... Let's put a little bit of sand in both of you. And then how much do you need? 17. Oh, you need lead too. Okay, I got I got a little bit of lead in here. Oh, not enough though, huh? Okay, so forge products, forge materials. We got some lead here. We'll let that smelt in and I'll put that iron back in later. Okay, so let's craft one of those. I just want to see what they look like. Alright, now let's craft the window. And we'll start with this window here, I guess. Oh, that doesn't look bad, actually. I like that. That looks fine. I thought... 
Oh, yeah, I bet you they changed it. Because this, I thought this used to look like shit. I mean, it looked terrible. But it does, it looks great now. All right, neat. So now I've got to figure out how many windows I'm going to need. Um, yeah, so, okay, so we've got two, four, six, eight. Um, you know what? Let's, let's get rid of the curtains and just have everything nice and bright in here. I might upgrade some of this ratty looking furniture later on too, but I think for, at least for this episode, we're mostly going to work on structural stuff. Okay. So I lost my count. So we got two, four, six, eight, 10, 12. Uh, we'll say 14, 16, 18, 20. Uh, I'm going to put windows back in here. So 22, 24, um, 26, 28, 30, 32, 34, 36, 38. Okay, so we need 38 so far for downstairs. All right, and then a 40, 42, 44, 46, 48, 50, uh, 52, 54. So it looks like we're going to need 53 in total because I made that one. Okay, so 53 glass blocks. So how many of those can we make right now? All right, we can get nine going in there and 10 going in there. Okay, so we'll let that those guys work on that stuff. Okay, now let's see. Next thing we want to do is um, let's work in well, actually, let's go back upstairs and let's finish the upstairs. Because the upstairs is... We don't have a ton to do up there, I don't think. This is going to actually look really good in here once we get the crap windows out of here. This little alcove with the desk. I really like that, man. The desk is kind of crap looking, but... I don't think we're going to really get it much anything better than that. Um, I don't like this lamp here. But... We, we might either be able to make one of these or pull one out of the creative menu. Uh, let's take a look at that, actually. That's a good idea. Lamp. So we can make the end table lamp, but what about just the lamp lamp? Or is it called a light? No. Okay, so this is an example of where we can't make that in the normal game, okay? So what we're going to do is we're going to go into the creative menu and let's type in lamp, center table lamp. Uh, okay, what's the difference between these two? One's supposed to be centered. Oh, I see, okay. So we're going to put that there. Uh, I'm going to actually hang on onto these. See, the it doesn't work, though, which kind of sucks. Let's go back in here for a second. Um, the desk lamps. All right, let's try light. How do you get these so that they're turned on? I don't, know, I don't know how to do that. This looks like it's turned on. But it's not. Huh. I don't know. Maybe you, maybe you can't, but I could have sworn I've gone into POIs before and found working lamps. So I don't know. Maybe not. What about the... What about this? Does this work? Nope, that doesn't work either. Okay. I mean, I can make the, um, I can make the lanterns, you know, the mining lanterns, and they do give a, quite a bit of light, but the problem is that they don't, they wouldn't look really good in here. 
Is it possible to recreate the ceiling light? Um, okay, so I don't see that option there. What about ceiling? Ceiling fan. Hmm. We just don't really have a lot of options for lights, do we? Why wouldn't that be in the creative menu? I don't get it. I don't understand. See, this light's on. What about lighted? Uh, what about on? That's a little bit of a broad search. All right. What about powered? Nope. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know, man. Well, okay, whatever. Whatever. What I might end up doing is making a mining lantern and just sticking it upside down on the ceiling because it'll light quite a, quite a, a bit of an area up, you know, by doing that. All right, let's get rid of this. Okay. Now, um... This lamp that I can make here, end table lamp, is it possible to make one of these in a lighted version? Because I have the stuff to make that. End table lamp. I'm just going to put this down for a second and see if it lights at all. Nope, it doesn't. All right, damn it. Okay. Well, I don't know. I, I might not worry about that too much. And the reason for it is we're not going to really be spending a lot of time up here anyway. That being said, though, I mean, I'd still kind of like to make it look as nice as we can. All right, well, let's do this then. We want to, I think... Uh, yeah, let's do this Wayne's coating here first. And I want to make sure... Oh, yeah, that's right. We're in uh, creative mode now, so we have an, another option. I think spray gun is a large area, too. Okay, we don't want all sides. And I think we do want paint surface, though, right? And make sure this is the one we're doing. Yeah, there we go. But that doesn't... That Wayne's coating doesn't... Well, why isn't it coming all the way around here? I guess they just didn't decorate it that way. Okay, that's fine. If that's the way it is, then that's the way it is. So I guess we don't do the Wayne's coating here. So now what we're going to do is we're going to copy this. And we're going to paint the wall. Uh, there's actually an actual little baseboard down there. How do you... Here, texture picker. Let's not do paint surface. How do you get that on there? Oh, whoops. That's not what I meant to do. <laughs> uh, oh, that's like a different board down there. Oh, very interesting. Okay. We need a freaking undo button, man. Okay, so let's texture picker this back. And... Put that back the way it was. Oh, okay, so that's a, that's like a board. All right, here, let's do this. Let's point our crosshair at this. Uh, I don't want, like, the whole stack. And do this. No, that didn't do anything. So I was thinking maybe that was, like, a really thin plate or something, but it doesn't change the shape. Uh, what if we go into the shape menu and we go to... Design, Deco, Vertical Blinds, Top Rail Only. Right. 
Road paint dash wedge. Um, okay. What about over here? That's construction. Nope, won't see anything in there. Um, this is destruction, which I don't think we want. Windows. No. Trim. Yeah, trim. What would be in here for like a baseboard trim? Arch window. Man, there's such cool stuff in here, guys. I love it. Crown left. Yeah, I still don't see anything in here, though, that would indicate like a very small baseboard, you know, type of block. Um, not catwalks, not stairs, not poles, wedges, rounds. Let's try something else. If I just break this block. Yeah, no, that is part of the block. It's not like a trim, like a thin plate trim piece over it. Oh, man, how do they do that? I don't know how they did that. Is there a block that has like a little line thing on it? That's a quarter, sh oh, that's a quarter sheet. It's not the same thing though, it's it's a little higher. I mean, you, you could probably use that if you wanted to as a baseboard, but it's not, yeah, it's not quite the same thing. Hmm. This is the idea, though, it's just not the right size. Okay, well, I'll tell you what, um, let me know guys in the comments um, if you know how I can how I can do this. I mean, if for no other reason, just so we can all learn because I don't know how they did that. It doesn't seem to make sense to me. Uh, but for now, we're just going to go with this because you know what we could do, actually? Um, yeah, see, it's all the way around. I don't think there's anything in the Replace paint. What's that mean? The next painted texture will be replaced in the current prefab or select. Oh, right. Okay. I think that's where it'll replace every single texture that's currently using that. Right. Okay. No, I don't think we want that. Um, If we go to materials, notice as it keeps flashing, said, hey, yo, don't forget this is on. Um, Yeah. Like, yo, don't forget that's on. <laughs> okay. Anyway. Um... I mean, it's the little line thing we're looking for in here. I don't think so. Yeah. All right. Well, uh, I'm going to, we're going to have to continue on here. So just let me know guys in the comments what I'm missing there. Uh, but I think, is that whole ceiling supposed to look like that? Or is it supposed to look like that? Can we tell from going on to this side? No, it's supposed to be this, this white looking stuff all the way down. Okay. So let's do um, texture picker. Here and yeah, and that just does. I wonder if that means do all surfaces that are connected to the one that you just did. That's you know that's that current texture within a certain range because it's it doesn't like do every single block on the POI. That looks a little weird actually, but that's okay. If that's the way it is, that's the way it is. All right, closet's good. I think this room is good, uh, other than the windows, of course. All right, let's go take a look out here. I don't know. I don't know that we need to do much out here. Uh, these look like shit, so let's get rid of those. Um, I'm, I guess I'm okay with that filing cabinet there. I wonder why this didn't get painted right. I, it looks like Fun Pimps missed that in this POI, because I haven't done anything to change that. All right, well, we fixed it. 
We fixed it, man. Okay, so in here, um, this side is yellow. This side is kind of this ugly looking green, peeled, peeled green adobe look to it. Okay, well, let's just stick with it for now because, you know, it's what's here. And we want to make sure that, yeah, we're not painting all sides. So we should be good there. And yeah, all right, that's good. Now what we'll do is texture pick this. Yeah, I think from now on when I'm decorating this game, I'm just going to do it in creative mode because you have more tools to work with. Oh, you know what? It, I don't think it's doing though. I don't think it's using my paint, or is it? Um. Okay. Let's texture pick this. Look in the lower right hand corner. Oh no, it's using my paint. Okay. Yep. It's still using it. So I'm. It's not really cheating. Um. From that standpoint. Okay. Other than again, like I said, the window. This room should be good. And maybe some lighting. You know, later on, we'll see. Okay, now let's go over to here. Oh, we're kind of running out of time. I don't like this carpet in the middle of the floor. It doesn't, doesn't really work for me, especially with forges. Of course, putting forges on wood doesn't really work very well either. But what could we, since this is the crafting room, maybe what we ought to do is make the floor in here at least look like concrete or something, right? So if we go into here and if we do concrete, we've got, yeah, we got the concrete blocks, which probably wouldn't look too bad. Excuse me. Um, there's concrete white. Uh, let's look at this. All right. So what we want to do is, hmm. See, we don't. I don't want to replace the wood in here, so we're gonna need to turn this off. Let's just do one block at a time for the moment. Uh, okay. Yeah, I like that. Let's just go with this for our crafting room. I could do um, a little bit larger surface area, but I, I don't want to screw things up out there. So let's just do this. Can I get right on the corner there? Haha, <laughs> look at that. Oh, this is going to look much better. Just, it feels right, you know what I mean? Like it should be this way. Because who in their right mind is going to put a forge on a wood floor? I mean, come on. Who would do that? Certainly not me. <laughs> oh, careful. Don't actually cough. Coughing right now for me is for reals, guys. We don't want it to do it until I have no choice. All right. Right on the corner. Oh, shit. There we go. Okay. I mean, we could pick it up. It wouldn't be that big a deal, but yeah, that looks much, much better. Um, should we do the entryway? Yeah, I think we should. Okay, good. Feels more like a crafting room now, baby. Okay, now uh, for the walls in the crafting room. I mean, we got this this green looking wallpaper stuff. I'm not so sure I like it, though, to be honest with you. What other options might we have for for the walls in here. What is this? Concrete trim. Just curious, what's it look like? Uh, I don't know. That's kind of weird. Okay. Let's see what else we have. Wood old, wood floor polished. That's just going to look like the floor. And yeah, that doesn't really work very well on a wall because... Kind of looks like, well, a floor, right? Rough cut wood. Yeah, I mean, that's not terrible, I guess. It's not terrible. That's going to look really rough shod. Wood painted, too, is probably going to look really rough shod. Yeah. Okay, let's keep that one in mind. Um, this was the... What does decayed brick look like? Okay, that's not bad either. This is a little tiny bit brighter than that, so kind of like that idea. 
Anything else we might consider? What's the this look like? Eh. No, that doesn't do much for me. We already know what the cobble is going to look like. We know what that's going to look like. What about brick one? Uh, that's okay too, but all right. I think I'm. I think what I want to do is I'm going to use this brick here. All right. So let's do a texture pick, and then if we do paint surface. Yeah, see, it'll paint that whole surface. Oh my god, we're out of paint already? Um, I guess we have been doing a lot of painting, huh? There we go. Yeah, I, I like this. I, I'm, I'm down with this. I think we can work with this. Um, that's going to be a window anyways. But what I was thinking, though, is... I was thinking about maybe making the top two blocks a wood grain texture. Maybe. I don't know. Let's see. Let's go back to this for a second. Or maybe some other kind of texture. What if we did this wood crown oak? What would this look like? Hmm. That's not bad. It's just that it's it's kind of supposed to be on the on the floor because it's Wayne's coating. Um, it's close to kind of what I'm looking for though. It's a thing. Uh, so we got wood Wayne's coating. Okay, let's just try the wood crown oak. Oh no, that was that weird looking shit. Yeah. Nah, I don't like that. Okay, well, you know what? This is the closest thing to what I kind of had in mind here. Just to kind of break it up a bit so it's not just pure brick walls, you know? Plus, you know, the wood can be up higher because there's no fire-producing implements up high. I think, okay, I think we're going to go with this for now. Always, of course, I reserve the right to change my mind. Uh, this is going to be cut out and be turned into a window. Uh, and we're going to put some windows. I might put a window here and maybe over here too. But yeah, I think that's good. I, I really like the floor though. I really like the floor in here. Now, the other thing I want to do, um, man, we are, we're like already an hour into this recording. I can't believe it, man. Okay. Well, guys, we're going to have to have another house flipper episode. I, I just, just, there's no way I'm going to get all this done in this episode. And I'm already going to edit some of this out. So I think we're going to wrap it up here. And yeah, we'll just schedule another house flipper episode. And, you know, we'll, we'll keep working on it in, you know, another episode, maybe even two. But there's one last thing I want to do before I let you go. Uh, I want to put a lantern on the ceiling in here. Uh, so. We need iron, headlights, electricals, ducts, and oil. Iron, headlights, electricals, ducts, and oil. All right. We're going to craft one of those, and we're going to put it up uh, probably just right in the middle there. And if I don't think that's enough light, we'll make two and we'll put one right about here and one right here. Because, you know, we spend most of our time in this room, so we want it to be lit up nice and bright at nighttime. And then, you know, we'll put windows in, which will give us some light during the day, too. So let's wait for those to finish. We'll put them up and then we'll wrap up this episode. I'm going to, um, we're going to just toss this stuff, of course. Uh, all that stuff that we cheated in. I got a few extra resources from taking that stuff apart, but honestly, who gives a shit? It's just not that big a deal. Okay, let's take this light and I want to put it right in the center of the room. Oh, um, yeah, I forgot to move those lights out of the way. Well, okay, I tell you what, let's um, let's get that light out of there, and then we want to go on on face. Ooh, look at that! 
That really brightens things up in here, doesn't it? I mean, it's definitely bright enough. Yeah. Okay, I think we'll go with that. I might make one more of those and, and space them out and just remove that one altogether. We'll see. Uh, but anyways, guys, that is it for this episode. I hope you guys enjoyed. And if you did, please hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. Leave a comment, share out the video. And um, tomorrow, it is now day 42, by the way, so it is Horde Night. Uh, but we don't really need to do anything on the Horde base. So I think, you know, the next episode, we'll probably just go back out and do some more um, questing. And then, uh, depending upon how our time goes, we might do the Horde at the end of that episode or it might be the beginning of the next episode. So we'll just have to see how things go. But I'm, I'm pretty happy with, you know, uh, the progress that we made today. But, of course, we have a lot more work to do. So we will schedule some more House Flipper episodes um, as the series continues. All right, guys. See you later. Bye-bye.